Hello Aquarius, I'm here to do your reading. If you haven't noticed, I've removed the time frames from it, but I still am going to be uploading like three different readings a month on um, Vimeo if you are subscribed to me. So if you really want to know the dates, you can like look at the dates, but I'm just not going to add them anymore because I feel like time kind of keeps us constrained. Um, so the song I got on shuffle for you guys was Floating by Alina Baraz featuring Khalid. Um, 2 a.m. and I'm still breathing. Looking at my thoughts running up to the ceiling. I'm swimming and everything you said. I'm thinking about diving in instead. You've got me skinny dipping deep inside my mind. Um, so, gosh, I love her as an artist, Alina Baraz, because she's so, like, sensual, and it's, like, her lyrics are so, like, uh, deep and um, poetic, so I don't know. I feel like you're really in your feels about somebody. I feel like you could really be in your feels in this dreamlike state and realize that, like, Neptune's about to go into retrograde at this time, so we are in that, like, dreamy kind of releasing these illusions, so I think you're really reconsidering how you're feeling about somebody or somebody might be doing this for you so let's get three oracle oracle cards three oracle cards for aquarius be open to love oof yeah do something different okay and one more um claim your art okay so you could be needing to kind of really work on your boundaries when it comes to love and letting people in and maybe what you've been doing in the past hasn't been working for you um or either that or like this could be the person that you're dealing with but this whole claim your art thing i think that maybe some of you are like wanting to communicate with somebody via like poetic means or like communicate via music or something like that i don't know um but like maybe send it to them because you might be surprised they might be into it but I think you're having to kind of work on your boundaries when it comes to love and like being open to like letting yourself be intimate with somebody letting it like come out of the dream state you know so bottom of the deck we got the fool card fool card so taking leaps of faith taking leaps of faith heading towards new beginnings kind of like releasing that emotional baggage and just letting ourselves kind of throw caution to the wind and being open to love so well, let's take a look overall energy between you and another person we got the two of cups we got the two of cups aquarius so you've got a certain somebody that you are either already in a connection with or you are thinking a lot about this person you're thinking a lot about being with this person. This person could be thinking a lot about being with you. The feelings are mutual. The soulmate connection is here. So let's see. Give me a clarifier for this two of cups. Harmony, balance, the high priestess, secrets, 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 your intuition. Tapping into that intuition, like I said, it's that underlying current here. Um, removing these like illusions, removing these things that are hidden because it's kind of like Neptune. Neptune is here. It's about to, I think, tomorrow, Tuesday, the 20, the 24th, is it? It goes retrograde, but also Venus goes direct again. So, um, a lot of stuff's coming to the surface in regards to romance and your dreams and like uh, uh, removing illusions. So you could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit psychic, um, who's very intuitive themselves. And you guys could have this like intuitive connection. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with here because this is like Piscean energy, I feel like, when I see the High Priestess. So let's keep, let's keep taking a look. Judgment card. Okay. Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So I feel like you want to come forward and offer... Either you want to come forward or you want there to be a reconciliation here. Because I feel like you pulled back your energy at some point, but now you're reconsidering it. Um, and this, remember, this could be vice versa. This could be vice versa. 
But I see somebody in this situation pulled back their energy and now they're kind of reevaluating like, oh, um, maybe I, maybe I retreated too fast from that. Like I never really let myself because it's like you're still thinking about this person, still thinking about this person, still wanting to make an offer, still wanting this feeling of celebration and to communicate these emotions. Let's see, judgment card here. What's going on with this judgment card here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I think you're in separation from somebody right now and you might not like it. You might not like it. Um, three of Pentacles. Three of Cups here. Definitely a mirrored energy here though. Oh. Because um, now this person is also really thinking about their feelings. Really thinking about their feelings. So you're both thinking about each other. So realize that when I'm saying... Um, kind of how I'm communicating it's like you guys are very much so mirrored with each other and you're both sending each other a lot of energy like a lot of energy but this has to be kind of you guys want to root it in the physical and give each other this like physical you know like with the pentacles here it's like you guys want to bring this into the physical world um the judgment card it's like you're in separation and now you're thinking a lot about why you're in separation but also this person is coming up as the hermit and the three of cups so they're also really thinking a lot about their feelings and what their feelings mean as well so i do feel like either you could be dealing with a virgo but i really feel like this person's really taking into account their feelings as well and you could be like in this process of doing something different and you guys could both be artistic you guys could both be creatives or have like some creative talent that you're channeling this into you're channeling these feelings into to understand them more um let's see seven of pentacles yep doing some work you're both mature enough to where you're reflecting on this stuff and doing the work learning the truth of this situation um, this person's not taking action here, though. Here with this Knight of Wands, they've pulled back their action. Seven of Pentacles, it's about patience. On your part, patience and doing some, doing some deep diving of like what your truth is, what your truth in these things is. What is it that you want here with this Emperor energy? Um, you know, Aquarius is a masculine sign um, and fixed. So it's a lot about what is it that what is it that like what what action needs to be taken here what is the most truthful action for you in this situation um eight of cups yeah this person this person could be an in and out person they could be somebody who is more like ruled by their passions anyways so they're trying to walk away from this behavior of giving their energy elsewhere. They're trying to give energy to themselves. And um, they're really trying to heal their own like masculine energy. And I feel like you need to kind of almost step in. Even if you're a feminine, there's something about you needing to work on your masculine energy. You needing to heal your masculine energy and almost step into that awakened masculine so it doesn't matter if you're female watching this um because we both have feminine masculine energies but that masculine side of us is that side that like maybe analyzes uh takes action knows what they want is very like determined whereas the feminine is more like flow um feeling feelings so there could be something that you need to analyze about this situation in order to uncover some kind of truth your truth you know so the knight of cups i feel like this is going to come back in this situation here is going to come back in this person is very guarded though so it's like almost going to have to be rebuilt it's almost going to have to be rebuilt and Aquarius, if you're the one who kind of cut out this relationship, I see whoever was the one to like kind of end this connection or to be like ending it is going to be the one that has to take actions to communicate their feelings. Because I do feel like this person did communicate their feelings to you um, and they might have felt like they were 
kind of left out in the cold by you. But I see you've been like working. You've been working on like really understanding what it is that you want, what it is that you feel about love relationships. And in order to kind of come forward in this again, you might need to like start from the bottom, bringing like a lot of clarity with this Queen of Swords coming forward with this cup of love here. Let's see. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Ace of Swords. So this person, this person's in this guarded energy of being a little bit indecisive, but also wanting to communicate truth. Also wanting clarity. And they might want you to be the one to bring them clarity. Um, because this person is kind of doing their own healing, doing their own evaluating of this energy, um, of their feelings, and trying to like gain wisdom through this. Trying to gain wisdom through this situation. So your person's trying to gain a lot of wisdom right now. So I don't know what the situation was here, um, but I feel like you had to pull back your energy to kind of figure out some stuff, and then maybe you kind of rethought of this person and have been thinking a lot about your feelings for them um and you're kind of wanting to bring some kind of clarity you want some clarity you guys are mirroring each other in the fact that you both want truth and clarity to come to the table um maybe less about these emotional things and maybe more stability and clarity so that you guys can rebuild i do think this person wants to rebuild with you but they're kind of holding their thoughts back until I feel you communicate your thoughts. So this is going to be for people that, um, you know, it resonates with. Because if it's somebody that you don't want back in your life, this isn't your reading. This is for somebody that you've been in a little bit of separation and you've had to kind of rethink your feelings for this person. Rethink your feelings in regards to relationships in general. And you could still be thinking about this person. You're wondering, like, is it over? Are they moving on? Um, I, I feel like they're trying, but it's really hard for them to not think about you and how they feel for you. So they're trying to move on. I feel like they're trying to walk away. Sorry if that triggers you, but there's something that they still feel that they want clarity on. There's something that they're still not understanding because they feel like you do have these feelings for them. It's just hidden behind a little bit of pride. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. And the extent I'll look more into who this is coming towards you, what it is that they want to communicate to you, what's happening unexpectedly, advice from spirit, and what is blocking this connection. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box, and I will see you guys there. Bye.